Hi, so in this video we are going to implement the algorithm for the Primzjarnik minimum spanning tree algorithm. We have already seen how it works in practice, so we just have to start at a given vertex, for example this D, and we have to push the edges to a heap, and we have to get the edge with the minimum edge weight on every iteration. Okay, and we set the given vertex to be visited. We push these edges onto the heap and what's very important that we are not going to update the heap content. That's why this is the lazy implementation. Okay, so we get the edge with the minimum weight. Then we consider the edges for this vertex F. Okay, then we get the edge with the minimum weight again and so on. So this is how we find the minimum spanning tree with the help of Primzjarnik. For Kruskal algorithm, we had to sort the edges according to the edge weight and we had to use a union find or a so-called disjoint set data structure in order to decide whether that given edge can be added to the minimal spanning tree or not. Here, by the way, we have to check that adding that given edge is not going to form a cycle. For example, we wouldn't be able to add this edge because it would form a cycle and in a minimum spanning tree it is forbidden to have a cycle. So basically that's all about the algorithm. We will have the prims Yarnik with the object, okay. We have a uh, init, okay, with the self and we have a uh, unvisited list. Basically it's going to be the vertex list. So the unvisited list is equal to the unvisited list, then we are going to have a spanning tree, self dot spanning tree is equal to an empty list at the beginning, then we are going to have the heap, so the edge heap is going to be equal to an empty list, because we are going to use a list as a heap underlying data structure. And we have the full cost, so the full cost is equal to zero at the beginning. Okay, so we have a calculate spanning tree and we have the self and a given starting vertex because we have to define a starting vertex for the Primzjarnik algorithm. First we have this unvisited list dot remove the given vertex, the starting vertex. And while the self dot unvisited list is not equal to a none, so while this unvisited list is not empty, we are just going to iterate through the edges. So in the vertex that adjacencies list, this adjacencies list stores the edges. And if the edge dot target vertex is in the self dot unvisited list, which means that if the edge target vertex is in the unvisited list, so we haven't considered it so far, then we have to push it to the heap. So heap q dot heap push, and we just have to use the self dot edge heap and the edge. So basically, if we haven't considered that given edge that has the target vertex, then we have to add it to the heap. And then, we just select the minimum edge and we are able to use the heap q dot heap pop. We just have to define the self dot edge heap. This is how we get the edge with the minimum weight. This is why we have to use a heap and this is why we have to define this comparator. So we push every edge that necessary onto the heap, then we get the item with the minimum edge weight. So it's going to be the minimum, so we add it to the spanning tree. So spanning tree dot append the min edge. Then we have to print out that the edge added to spanning tree. And for example, person tasks, person tasks again. And we just have to use person min edge dot start vertex, then of course we have to call the name. Then we have the min edge dot 
target vertex dot name. Okay, basically that's all. And then we have to calculate the full cost is equal to the self dot full cost plus the edge. Sorry for that, min edge dot weight. Okay. And then we have to update the vertex. So the vertex is equal to the min edge dot vertex. And we have to remove it from the self dot unvisited list. Because we have already considered that given vertex. So remove the given vertex. Okay. So basically that's all about the prims -Diornic algorithm. We are going to have another method def for example get spanning tree with the self and we just have to return with the self dot spanning tree so we just return with that given list we have defined this spanning tree as a list at the beginning so basically while there is some unvisited nodes then basically we have to iterate we have to consider all the edges that we haven't visited so far push it to the heap then we get the heap pop, which is going to return the edge with the minimum edge weight. Then we just have to print it out, add it to the spanning tree, calculate the full cost, and then we have to remove it from the unvisited vertex list. That's all about the Primzjarnik algorithm. Thanks for watching.